Today, our lesson is about present continuous passive. So, let's start. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Number one, recognize present continuous active and passive tense forms. Number two, use present continuous passive in a real context with appropriate time markers. Let's move to our questions. In our lesson, we are going to answer the following questions. Question number one, when do we use present continuous? Number two, how do we form present continuous? Number three, what are the steps to change an active sentence into passive? And number four, how to form a negative present continuous passive sentence? Let's start with the first question. When do we use present continuous? In fact, we use it present continuous to talk about action that is happening or not happening right now at this moment. For example, look, Hassan is not doing his homework. He is talking to his friend. So, is talking is present continuous tense and it is happening right now. Number two, I can use present continuous to talk about actions that will or will not happen in the near future. For example, she is not leaving to Amman tonight. Now, how to form present continuous active? To form present continuous active, we will follow this rule. We will start with the subject plus auxiliary verb to be is, am, or are, then we will add ing to the main verb. For example, she is running, they are playing football, etc. Now, if we want to negate a sentence in present continuous active, what should we do? Simply, we will insert not between the helping verb is am or are and the verb with ing. Example, he is not working now. They are not listening to us. Clear? Try to make an example using present continuous active. Now, let's continue. Here, we have many examples using present continuous active. Let's start. I have subject, I have auxiliary verb, which is helping verb, and I have main verb with ing. Let's start. I am speaking to you. You are reading the book. She is not staying in London. I insert not between the auxiliary verb and the vain verb. If I want to make a question using the present continuous, I will start with the auxiliary. Example, is he watching TV? Yes or no? Number two, are they waiting for John? That's clear. Let's continue. My dear students, now I will remind you with some spelling rules when you add ing to present continuous verbs. Rule number one, if you have a verb like stop, Stop is a verb that has T as consonant, which means in Arabic harf sahih, not a vowel, O as a stressed vowel, then a consonant. If you have a verb like stop, having a stressed vowel in it means that you have to double the last letter before adding ing. So stop, stopping, run, running. I double the last letter. Another case here, having a verb like open. Okay, if we think about open, we have a vowel here, we have E. Why didn't we double the last letter? Simply because E is not a stressed vowel, so we only add 
I and G to the end of the verb. Also, if we have verbs that end with I, E, like lie and die, you should change it to Y before adding I and G, as you can see here. The last case, if we have verbs like come that end with E, I will delete the E before adding I and G. Is that clear? I hope so. So now, let's talk about present continuous passive. The first question, when do we use present continuous passive? In three cases. Case number one, when the subject of the active sentence is unknown. For example, an email is being written. Case number two, we use it to emphasize on the subject itself. For example, Ali is being rewarded for his achievements. Number three, we use it to talk about general truths. For example, the trainee is always being told what to do by the trainer. Okay, what are the steps to change an active sentence into passive? Step number one, to change an active sentence into passive, I have to identify the subject, the verb, and the object in the active sentence. Let's see an example. The postman is delivering the mail. Where's the subject? The subject is the postman. Where's the verb? Is delivering. And the mail is the object. Step number two. I have to move the object in the active sentence to be the subject in the passive sentence. Where's the object in our sentence? Yes, I can hear you. It's the mail. So I will write the mail at the beginning of the sentence. Then I will ask myself, what's the tense of this verb? Is delivering. What tense is this? It is present continuous verb. So since it's a present continuous verb, I will use a verb to be auxiliary is am or are according to the subject itself, then I will use being. So, my sentence will be, the mail is, because it's singular, being. The last step is to change the main verb in the active sentence into past participle or verb three. Let's see, the mail is, being delivered by the postman. Postman here is the agent. Let's continue. So, as a conclusion, to form present continuous passive voice sentence, I should follow this rule. I will start with the object, then I will use auxiliary verb to be plus being plus verb three. I have examples here. I have active sentences and passive sentences. Let's work on them. The first sentence, the farmer is planting some fruit trees. Where's the subject? It's the farmer. Where's the verb? It is planting. What tense is this? It is present continuous. And where's the object? It is some fruit trees. So I will start with it. Some fruit trees, then I will ask myself, is it singular or plural? Yes, it is plural. So I will use are. Then I will use being plus the verb three of the main verb in the sentence. The verb here is planting. What is verb three of planting? It is planted by the farmer. The farmer here is the agent. Example number two. The coach is congratulating the team at the moment. At the beginning, I will identify the subject, the verb, and the object before changing it 
to into passive. Then it will be the team is being congratulated by the coach. Is that clear? Okay, let's continue. I want you to write meaningful sentences using present continuous, passive and active. Now, you have a task to do. Please concentrate. Question number one. Change the following sentences into passive voice. Remember that you have to identify the subject, the verb, and the object, so it will be easy for you to change the sentences into present continuous passive. Let's start with the first one. The cat is cheering my puck. Number two. We are collecting the donations at the moment. Number three, they are washing my car now. Number four, Mr. Barber is handing out the exam papers. Number five, GPS is calculating the route to the destination. Question number two, choose the correct answer. Number one, the roof right now. The choices is being fixed or is being fixed or is fixed. Number two, Malak space not on our sofa. The choices here is being slept or are sleeping or is sleeping. Number three, my mother-in-law is at our house this week. Stay, staying, or be staying. Number four, we at a fancy restaurant tonight. Eat, are eating, or eats. Number five, a new shopping mall downtown. Is opening, is being open, or is being opened. This is all for today. I hope you understand the lesson. If you face any problem while you are doing your worksheet, please watch the video again. أذكركم أعزائي يمكنكم مشاهدة الموقف التعليمي أكثر من مرة باستخدام الرابط أدناه. شكرا لحسن استماعكم.